Hello everybody, and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Wasteland 3, and last time I said that we were going to go and work on this unwelcome guest's mission, but I also forgot that uh, we had that radio call about HQ. So we're going to go to HQ first, find out who's there and what they want, and then after that, if we have time, we'll do the Gideon Ray's mission for unwelcome guests. So let's do it. It would be kind of nice to skip over this loading screen and just get back to HQ automatically, but I don't know if there's a way to do that. I should probably start following this developer on Twitter and just, like, uh, see if, when they are planning on doing some updates, and that way I can keep up to date on some of the changes that might be coming down uh, the pipeline in the future. Um, they may, you know, have updates in the future that fix load times a little bit or, uh, you know, improve load times. They may also have things that, you know, big uh, changes to perks and things that may rebalance the game. These types of games usually have quite a few adjustments post-launch, and some of them could affect my gameplay in the future. And so I want to kind of know about them as they come in. So I might want to start paying attention to that. Great on Little Vegas nightclub! Would you rather freeze to death? <laughs> You're a barrel of monkeys, huh? Come on, answer the question. All right, let's go meet these uh, Bamps. One thing I'm also wondering is, is it better for me to sell weapons that I don't want, or, as the game suggested earlier in like a tooltip, is it always better to break them down and sell the junk that comes out of them? I don't know that yet. And maybe we're going to have to test some things out to find out. But I am interested to know. Every time we load in here, there's like debris that disappears. Don't know what that's about. Good luck out there. Okay, where are these people going to be? I'll sacrifice some elbow room to save more people. That's the only same any time. The lights return. And even dozen gangsters in red lens. Okay, I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to here. It didn't show up as a mission or anything, did it? No, those are the three. Yeah, full house. I'm still confused about this one. I feel like we already did all this. Manage our brig. See, this one hasn't updated. Functional medical bay. Let's fill out our squad. I'm unsure what I'm supposed to do with that still. I need more information. Um, where are these people I'm supposed to meet? I kind of thought they'd be out here. I don't remember what name they gave me. Seven A. Seven A. Check. Thirteen C. Uh huh. Thirteen C. One B. One B. Got it. Huh. Well, that's fine for now. Don't worry about it. 
taken care of us. Let's talk to Great Ski. Hey, you two! You can't fight here. This is the war. I understand your urge to go help those poor hoons, but old Saul isn't going to like you disobeying a direct order. And Daisy won't be happy either. That Arapaho shipment was full of power armor for her marshals. Deal with it. I'll be here. People are talking about how you cleared those Dorseys out of the garden. You're doing God's work here, Ranger. I'll be here. Okay, there's fucking nobody here. <laughs> Rangers. Oh, here they are. Hey, who's in charge? How did I miss them walking in? <laughs> Gary Wolf. Hey, you're the CO around here? Huh. Okay. Okay, jerk. Quality setup this time. <laughs> Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. Actually, he hasn't helped out that much, if I'm being honest. He asks a lot and gives very little. You been a Ranger Citadel? I helped the Rangers during their whole Cochise debacle. Okay, he probably showed up in they one of the other games. They might have come out strong if they'd listened to me. Too bad. Who are you? Gary Wolf, freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. Synth hunter. It's the first I've heard about that. I'm wondering if uh, Brygo was a synth. Synthetic human, is that what that stands for? Because he was so, like, young-looking, even though it had been 20 years? What do you want? After the Rangers nuked Cochise and themselves, I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to synths, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ. Then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the Whoa. city limits again. So we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. Maybe that blue guy that gave us the briefcase is a synth? I don't know what synths are. I would, I would really like them to explain that to me. Uh, yeah, so maybe this will tell us a little bit more. What's so bad about synths? Jesus, you're not one of those, are you? Fucking simps are always talking about how synths are sentient. They have feelings. Bullshit. That's how they trick you. Synths are just top-grade robots. What makes them dangerous is that every one of them has a little piece of cochise in their electric brain like a virus. And if you leave them alone for too long, that virus spreads. And pretty soon we have the goddamn robot apocalypse all over again. Interesting. Not on my watch. We cap them as soon as we see them. Don't give them a chance to talk. Now is that just like unfounded fear mongering there? Or is there truth to that? Like I, I wonder if there's truth to that, that they can spread that like a virus. Tell us about Cochise. Are you kidding me? Cochise is the Ranger's greatest enemy. A supercomputer that almost exterminated them twice. And which built an army of synths to kill every last human on Earth. Rangers aren't training their recruits at all these days, are they? I feel like I would have a better better understanding of this had I played uh, Wasteland 2. The synth is called October 11? Yeah, no idea why. Synths are weird that way. It and another synth called Tourmaline caved some sieves on their way here Killed? just for kicks. So watch yourselves. Okay, you know what? I'll I think I'm I think I'm down for taking down the synths. Maybe when we find it, we'll learn a little bit more about what's going on here, but he's making a good case. They just like killed some people on the way here. 
Some civilians. Eleven is a stone killer. Gotta be neutralized before it kills again. And killing it will help us find its comrades. Uh, we're gonna do this and it's gonna piss off Daisy though, I bet. How will we be able to find the others by killing October 11? All synths got a radio in their heads. Let's them communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. You want to go after the others too? I'll make it worth your time. Interesting. And why did you get banned by Daisy? We cornered Eleven downtown and tried to take it out quietly. But there was a snafu and we had to open fire. Shot up the street. Wounded some civs. Ooh. So you're not good at your job is what you're saying. Silly bitch wouldn't listen when I warned her about the synth. Acted like we were the problem and sent us packing. Fuck her. Well, apparently you're very unprofessional. I mean, if you were good at your job... <laughs> okay, I can't even say this because I just shot a bunch of civilians in a... in. Little Vegas, so I'm actually not going to finish that statement because I, I definitely killed a bunch of civilians in there. Hey now, that's my ex-boss you're talking about, Hoss. Uh-oh. By going along with them, are we going to piss off Quan? Lucky you quit then. She's a frag candidate for sure. Damn. Okay, we'll, we'll add this runaway synth to our list. <laughs> Add it to your list? Ought to be your top priority. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head. Should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. Squad, at ease. Interesting. So it sounds like it's a female. And we're going to hear static. Okay. You got anything else you can tell us about it? Find that synth in Colorado Springs yet? What are you waiting for? Didn't I tell you they bring back Cochise if we leave them too long? Don't let this one slide, Rangers. It's too important. Okay. And if there's a way for us to do it on the down low, that's going to be best for us. I, I don't want to piss off Daisy by doing this. But uh, I don't know if we'll, we'll have that option. But yeah, sounds like synths are basically replicants. Faint static. Okay, let's go ahead and save while while we're here. Is it in this square? Alright. Let's head further up to this square. Static and faint modem noises. Faint static. So that takes us further away. We'll go down this road to see if anything happens.
Is the static happening at like set intervals of time? Shut down Brygo's club. What are we supposed to do for fun? Like if I stand here for a while, will the radio thing pop back up? Or is it just like triggers as I'm walking around? So when we're in battles, I can use this and highlight people. Will it also tell me their buffs and debuffs? Yes, it will. I was wondering where that was. I've tried to do that in a couple of battles. Interesting. I like that. Good. Okay, standing still doesn't seem to be triggering anything, so... Okay. So we got the modem noises here, as well as when we walked down this way. Could it be hiding out somewhere, possibly? That'd be beneficial to us, because we'd be able to uh, kill it easier. Okay. Okay. a little bit too normal. No, it's got the weird face. Never mind. Maybe not. I'm just like wondering if she's like hiding out amongst these animatronics or something. Well, the door sees thought they had a better idea. Believe they could rule by murder and fear. Behind him saw went to war and fought all the monsters of Satan Bazaar. He lined them all up and he cut them all down to flap the inhaler surrender his crown. You can the hundred families came to see you spring. Then came the gangs of the Eastern Plains, hoping to rob us of our worldly gains. Hmm. So I saw him coming and he rolled up his sleeves. He said, you're all nothing but a pack of thieves. Let me read my journal real quick. Wolf shot up Colorado Springs trying to kill a synth, but it gave him the slip. These cowboys, uh, these cowboy antics pissed off Sheriff Daisy and she kicked out Wolf, she kicked Wolf out. He knows the synth is still somewhere downtown and wants us to find it, kill it, and bring him its head. Alright, we're getting the strongest signal here. Did I just see a little red circle? Pass through us. Oh, it's probably something highlighted here. Huh.
indistinct. Let's go in here just in case it's in here somewhere. Maybe it is that guy that's in that room over here. But I could have sworn that he... That when we were talking to Wolf that he gendered the synth as a female. But maybe I'm imagining things. And that never actually happened. I do shit like that all the time. You, Rosie. Ensure transactions in Mempool always have unique keys. Do you like my cats? None of them are spayed or neutered. Okay, we're not getting anything triggering in here, so I think that it is out there somewhere. Maybe there's like a perception check inside that museum. Okay, just seeing if there's any new highlightables out here. Okay, it's making it pretty obvious that it's somewhere in here. Okay, it might just be this right here. I'm gonna see if I can shoot it. This is the only one that I can see like skin tones for. No, leave them. They don't even have brains. Oh. Why are humans always killing things? Friends, defend yourselves. Oh my gosh, are all the animatronics going to fight us now? So this was the one, huh? Oh my god. Please do not shoot the exhibit. The exhibit is strictly prohibited. <laughs> Please do not shoot the exhibit. Need some help. Please wow.
Good job, Billy and Jean. Okay, lots of armor. Most of them are weak, but a few of them are pretty strong. Okay. Of course, the ones that can actually do some good damage are the ones that are going to be strong. You're going to have to heal yourself. Why would you have to move to do that? <laughs> Hit him right there. <laughs> okay, you only get the bonus 3 AP once. You can't chain it, which is unfortunate. I thought you could. That would have been very useful to be able to chain that. strong. Monster uniform. Are there... Which one's the... Which one's the one that is October? Maybe it's you since you have the most health? Um, okay. Let's look at some options here. We use a shrink grenade. 33 damage reduction on a bunch of people. Two AP to use. Why not? Maybe because they are animatronics, it does they can't be shrunk? Maybe. That block. I got you. My example. Kick some ass. A leader multi kill. Critical chance plus six for two turns. That's cool. All right. Really? That low damage, huh? I guess uh, it just doesn't have a lot of penetration, and that's probably why, yeah? Yeah, probably. When it's an animatronic, it changes what this does. Is everything else basically the same? I think so. Justice. Whoa, that one that one had some some bio in it. So maybe all of these strong ones are synths.
Not even worth taking the shot. I hope they don't have AOEs. <laughs> Please do not shoot the exhibit. Oh, come on, Quan. You were the one person I wanted to stay alive. <laughs> got a kill. Good job, Billy Jean. I think that you got a crit there. Okay. If we do... No, you can actually hit twice. Okay, both those take four AP. Damn. Okay. Maybe I should have shot him and let it pass through, but that works too. All right, I think we've done just about as much as we can. You have four AP, so the only thing you'd be able to do is pistol shot, which isn't going to do much for us. Most likely, uh, analog's gonna get got. Wow, he survived worse. barely. What? Oh man, they spread it out nicely. Good job, Billy Jean. So proud of Billy Jean. So proud. Okay, out of range. Oh, sniper. 75, not bad. Okay, fair. It wasn't guaranteed.
He's gonna have better penetration. 10%. Plus 30 hit chance. Minus 50 spread. Eh, that doesn't matter. Okay, we're not going to be able to get that shot off, which means you get to survive one more turn. Oh, whoops. Oh my god, that's terrifying! That was an accident. <laughs> Oh, they're going to finish you. Nice. Oh, so that last one may have been the actual synth. Okay. We opened all those, so we're good. Okay, let's head back. We'll go turn in this mission, go see the doctor. And then decide where we're heading next. Too bad we didn't really get to talk to the synth at all, but... Find that synth in Colorado Springs yet? Here's its head. Where's the bounty? Oh, no muss, no fuss. How about that? All right, then. Here's the cash, as promised. Now, uh, one more thing. I was kind of afraid you'd be as pussy as the AZ Rangers, but it looks like you're serious. So I've got another proposal for you. This guy's kind of a jerk. We need a base of operations for our synth hunt. And it looks like you've got plenty of space. What do you say? Can we set up shop here? You don't seem to like the Rangers much. You sure you want to hang? You want to hang around? Ranger squad I ran with an AZ was a chicken outfit. Failed to utilize me properly. Paid the price for it. But you did okay here, so I'm giving you a chance. What does that stand for? N-A-C-L. Alright, fine. You can stay. Great. We'll find a corner and keep out of the way. 
And just to make the deal sweeter, how do you like to pick up a few more bounties? Okay. Like I told you, since communicate with each other long distance. That means when I hack October 11's head, I'll be able to find its friends. Unfortunately, we're still on the trail of a pack of eastbound synths right now, so we can't stop and hunt for these. But it's got to be done, so I'll pay you to do it. Cash for each head. You want the job? Give us the locations, we'll get the synths. Great. Now, let me just crack this egg. Wolf takes the head, expertly opens it, then wires it to a portable computer in his backpack and begins to poke and prod. After a few minutes, he nods and turns the screen towards you. It shows a map dotted with flickering lights. You see that light in the center? That's our current location. Actually, October 11's head. Those other lights around the middle one? Those are the other synths. One looks really close to Denver. Anything you can tell us about it? Hmm. A lot of interference. Maybe near a radio tower. Maybe two. Lots of other smaller EM signals, too. Probably got a whole bunch of robots around to protect it. And how about the one that's a little further out from Denver? There's some wobble in the location signal, which means it's bouncing off the mountains from the foothills. That flickering means there's interference, so it's probably underground. Maybe it's coming from some kind of bunker or mine. Or maybe a nuclear silo inside a dormant volcano. Like some kind of supervillain. <laughs> and there's one in the Aspen area that ke that keeps flickering. Signal's imprecise. Bouncing around. Maybe in the mountains. Okay. Great. The sooner you end them, the sooner you get paid. Can I look at the wider map from here? Does that show up as a mission log or what? Dorsey. Alright, well, I think this is the one we're uh, working on next. Let's go see the doctor. Ma'am. Good luck out there. <laughs> what do you need, Rangers? I'll do what I can. Have a seat. Fine. Just don't get shot up out there and make more work for me. Okay, so it can use two different weapons. This one used 7.62 millimeter ammo. This one uses rockets, so that one we're gonna need to be pretty sparing with for the beginning at least. Oh, hell yeah. Here to serve. And yeah, world map, right? Anything else we need to do in town? I should have tried uh, controlling one of those uh, robots with analog. Mr. 
fun times here with another strangling yarn. <laughs> this one about an astute student who learned how to love to kill. Once there was a little boy who loved having pets. Oh, yes, cats, dogs, squirrels, badgers. He loved them all. And he especially loved them in a nice big stew with a sprig of thyme. It wasn't until the boy met little Annie that he began to develop other interests. He began to ply little Annie with gifts, trinkets, and tidbits from scrapyards wrapped in animal furs. Soup, hello all. Ooh. My name is Flab, and it is my pleasure to bid you welcome to the bazaar. Come in, for the night air is chill. Your wallet head. And our goods plentiful. Bring us your wealthy, your rich, your full purses. And if you can't afford it, just stay away. This has been a Monster Army production. <laughs> Why does he sound like Dracula? Ash. Ahead of you on the side of the road, you see what first looks like an outhouse. As you get closer, you see it's a lovingly made wooden shrine, open at the front but covered with a pitched roof. You get out to examine it and see that placed on the altar within it is a broken toaster, with an, with an inscription above it that reads, The Warmth That Transforms. <laughs> Pray to the toaster? Repair the toaster. Ooh, I think that's a new piece of armor. I bet you it's good. <gasps> Ooh. How the heck did that get in there, right? <laughs> Wondering the same damn thing. Okay, first off, I think I'm... S let's see. We need to put those on you. And, okay. Gear, 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 gear. A plus six. Hell yes. Okay. So you've got five. And you've got six. Oh, you're you don't meet a strength requirement for that. Does this take a strength requirement? Does not. Okay. We'll give you that. Okay, four. Everybody has at least four. Good. And this, hit chance plus five and an armor five. Who needs the hit chance bonus? This might be for York. Nah, I really like that mechanics plus one though. So maybe you? This one doesn't have a strength requirement. All right, we're going to give it to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can put that one on for a minute. We can still go to the Arapaho Caravan, even though uh, we chose to do the other one. I wonder if we'll find the remains of everything there if we do that. Okay, are we ready? I think we might do this in the next episode. We're pretty close to that hour. Saw some green, so we got some radiation over there. A 
mournful keening of drools and find a pack of them sitting together. Are they singing? Attack them before they attack you. Try to gain the initiative here. seen these we may lose to these guys I have no idea how tough they are they look like they have some decent armor some of them do anyway eight AP to kill two of them Was that not ready, or did I just misclick that? I may have misclicked it. Nice. Critical miss? Huh. Okay, that went very well, and I can probably run over a bunch of these guys. Okay. So, I just need to move you. Got it. Oh, there must be more.
Oh, I should've done that with him. I think I'll move you last. It. That'll make it harder for it to get to us, which is good. Um, you're done. Yeah, you're done. Getting that memory bleed happening. Oh, you're just barely out of range, huh? Oh, rude. Shot, girl. Frozen heart and drool flesh. Lovely. Just what you like to see. Am I right? Alright, let's see if there's any loot. Ooh. Bolts. Nice. A med dart. Oh, I have to remember to try and use those. That's it, yeah? Okay, that's it. Nice. That was a decent fight. And just in time for the end of this episode, too. So yeah, I'm just going to save as soon as this load screen is done. So uh, yeah, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one where we check out that bazaar and see what these uh, smugglers are up to. Have a good one, everybody.